everybody and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to use Spout 2 in order to capture transparency for your VTuber without having the VTube Studio UI overlaid on everything. In case you are wondering what I'm talking about, I am talking about this. If I double click, obviously in this OBS window you can see that the UI pops up on my VTuber, whereas in the actual recording window, which is I guess the entirety of my screen, you can tell there's not a replica of that, and it's because I have it set up with Spout 2. Now prior to this, just as a recap, we've had game capture, which you can set to transparency. The downside obviously is when you use the main menu in VTube Studio, it pops up with the actual UI. The other option aside from game capture was if you used a video capture device, and this would be the VTube Studio Virtual Cam set with ARGB. Sorry, you can't really see, can you? If you set it to ARGB, then you could also have this transparency happening, but the downside to this is that the virtual webcam is unfortunately a little bit more demanding on your CPU. So, Spout 2 is great because it offers the same removal of the UI, which is very nice. It also allows transparency, it does support multiple VTube Studio instances, and it is much lighter on your CPU. So overall, it should be the standard from here on out, so I'm going to show you today how to use it. This tutorial is going to be from the perspective of you having OBS installed already, and in addition to that, also having VTube Studio installed. If you do not know how to do that, I will leave links in the description. As a matter of fact, links to everything that I mentioned in this video will be in the description, along with timestamps to help you guys guide your, gu you know, follow along. <laughs> So first we're going to download and install Spout 2. As you can tell, Spout 2 is designed for OBS 29. If you are on an older version for reasons like StreamFX or something like that, just know that you do have to update to OBS 29 in order to run Spout 2. I'm pretty sure this is not compatible with older versions, so make sure you are on the right version. Also, make sure you have the right VTube Studio version as well, so everything has to be updated for this to work. So the one you want is going to be the first one, OBS Spout 2 plugin install. You're gonna click on that and download it to whatever folder, just throw it in your downloads folder. I already have it in there, so I'm not gonna download it again. <laughs> now that you have it downloaded, you can just double click it. It'll probably give you this warning if you have your Windows Defender, whatever the hell, activated. Go ahead and hit yes. It will probably give you this warning that looks something like what I put on the screen. It'll ask you if you really wanna run it or not. Yes, we really wanna run it. Just go ahead and tap more info and then click on run anyway, and it'll let you go through the installation process. Now, if you hit next and agree and do all this and that and this and that, it might give you this warning like it just did to me. If it does that, you're gonna have to manually install and that's totally fine, it's nothing complicated. But if you're one of the lucky ones, then you won't have to deal with that and you can just be done after this point in time. If it's already installed, you can go ahead and skip forward. If you have to do a manual install, I'm gonna show you how to do that. The manual version of this is just gonna be the second download right here. You're gonna click on this and download it. Again, I already have a copy of this, so I don't need to download it. Just download it wherever. So now that we've got this zip file downloaded, we're going to right click and we're going to extract it. I'm just gonna extract it here, because I don't care. <laughs> and we've got this data folder and an OBS plugins folder. And the stuff that's inside of these, we're gonna have to put into our OBS uh, main folder as well. So my OBS is within my main drive under program files OBS studio and as you can see we have the same two folders data and OBS plugins that we have just downloaded as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to start let's start with the data we're going to open this up data OBS plugins and we have this win spout folder so over here we're going to go data OBS plugins and we're going to go ahead and pop win spout in there and then we're going to also go ahead and do the OBS plugin section. So in the downloads folder, open up OBS plugins, 64 bit. And these are the things that we're gonna wanna drop into OBS that are gonna actually do stuff. So we're gonna go back over here, OBS plugins, 64 bit. And we're gonna drag these and put them into here. I already have these all in here, so I'm not gonna do this again. Now open VTube Studio up, make sure that you have updated it to the current version. Go to the webcam section and scroll down towards the bottom and you should now see Spout 2 config over here in the corner. Just want to toggle this on, activate Spout 2. Okay, now within OBS you should be able to right click and add and I believe it's supposed to be called Spout 2 Capture. Mine is not called that, mine is called Source, Source Name. name. 
for whatever godforsaken reason, but it probably should say Spout 2 Capture, mine's fucked up. If you are a VTuber that has ever used PRPR Live, and you have the PRPR Live Alpha channel installed, you may notice that you do not have source name available, or Spout 2, whatever the hell it is. If it's not there, uninstall the PRPR Live Alpha channel. By the way, to uninstall that, you do the same thing that we were doing before. Let me go ahead and show you. <laughs> to do that, you're gonna go back to the same plugins folder, 64-bit, and you should have somewhere in here, you'll have like a PRPR Live Alpha channel um, DLL file, and you'll just wanna delete that out of here. And then after you do that, you should, you should, fingies crossed, have access to source name, or what it's actually supposed to be called, which is not what mine is called, <laughs> Spout 2 Capture. <laughs> and from here on out, you can just go ahead and add a new capture. I'm just gonna call it, it's a me, Mario. Now, as far as settings go, leave it set to use first available sender, unless you have multiple instances of YouTube Studio open, in which case you can pick the specific one that you are using. We're going to change this from a composite mode opaque. I think, <laughs> I think this should just say opaque. Mine's a little bit fucked up though. So you'll just want to set this to default and that will remove the background. And then you can leave this set to fast or tick speed fast, whatever. So because this is transparent, we can put a background like some SpaghettiOs in and it'll be fine. And then as you can tell, if I go ahead and open up VTube Studio, this is the window that it's capturing. If I double tap and open up the VTube Studio menu, you cannot see it on the screen. You don't have to do any weird cropping. You don't have to worry about CPU usage. It's just that simple. Now, if you are not transparent at this point in the tutorial, I would double check that you are set to transparency within VTube Studio. You can do that by double tapping and clicking on the backgrounds menu and then going all the way down to the bottom to color picker. And when it shows you this color picker menu, you're going to go to the bottom and make sure that this transparent and capture button is selected. It needs to be on for it to be transparent. As you can tell, when I toggle this off, it covers everything back up. So that will conclude the tutorial. Hopefully all of your questions have been answered. Happy CPU usage to you. Enjoy your life and subscribe to my other channel because I probably will not be posting on this tutorial channels that often and I'm way less boring on my main channel. Bye. <laughs>